Oh, what's going on, Funko fans? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of... Much Pops. Much Pops. So I'm sure, as you can already tell by the title of this video, we are going to be attempting to melt a Funko Pop with some sparklers. But before we can do that, we gotta go and pick up the sparklers. So instead of watching us do a Funko Pop hunt today, you're gonna see us do a firework hunt. So we are going to go check out a few stands. Hopefully they have what we need. So let's go and get those fireworks if we can, and let's see how many it takes to melt a freaking Funko Pop. I'm so excited. Oh, we should get a pack of these wolf packs, and we should just throw that at the pot. <laughs> yeah, to warm it up. But I see the sparklers down here. Ten ninety nine. Oh, well, that's not bad. What is this thing? Bazooka torch? <laughs> Hold on. Should we just get a bazooka torch? <laughs> Maybe. So I think we're just gonna do one box of sparklers from now. All right, so we picked up one pack of sparklers. This first stand that we went to was sold out of a lot of the good stuff. So we are gonna go and check a couple other stands, see if we can find some cool stuff because one pack is not gonna cut it. Do you guys have like a big, like long tube sparkler thing? Or just those tiny sparklers? Just these sparklers. Yeah, okay. We are just going to take a box of the sparklers then, and then some of the whole green poppy balls. Oh wait, actually, should we get a cool breeze? Sure. Let's get a cool breeze. Excuse myself. Hey, you guys can actually just keep the change on that. Thank you. See ya. You too. Bye. All right, guys, so booth number two, we picked up a couple items. We got another box of sparklers. We got totally ripped off at that first booth. They were selling the sparklers for like 12 bucks. I just got a box over here for seven bucks. So really wish I didn't buy them over at that first booth, but whatever. And then we got some of these really cool crackle balls that I love. And we got a nice little fountain for $2. So we got some fun stuff in here. And uh, I really think we're gonna be able to melt these pops, guys. So it should be a good time. Now we gotta get home and get this stuff ready. you guys I think that we have everything that we need to make this video happen today we have the invisible girl GameStop exclusive and we also have the clown and you might be asking yourself why did we choose these two pops both of these are ones that we got in the mail that were either broken or missing pieces and I thought what better way to send them off in style than by seeing how many sparklers it will take to burn them completely to the ground so before we can actually get to roasting these Funko Pops. We gotta open up all of these sparklers, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we just opened up all the packs that we have here, and it actually doesn't look like we have too much, so hopefully they are not gonna take a lot to burn through because I don't know what we're gonna do if we don't have enough. So we have the venomized invisible girl here, and this one was actually a real bummer when we opened it up and found out that it was broken. But luckily, we got two, so we have one that is in perfect condition. That's why it is totally okay to burn this one. But as you can see right here, she was completely broken off from her base, and she is also missing an arm. So this girl has been through some tragedy in her life, and we are ready to put her through one last excruciating moment before she reaches her final resting place. So now that we have Invisible Girl pretty much propped up on the base that she should have been standing on, we are ready to take this lighter and this sparkler and get started to find out how many sparklers it actually takes to burn through a Funko Pop. All right, so I can already see the hair starting to singe, and I think it's actually catching on fire a little bit. So this might take a little less than I expected. 
because the fire on the figure is actually going to help out quite a bit when it comes to melting this thing down. But it doesn't look like it's on fire anymore, but we are trying to take this thing around the figure a little bit, get it hot, get it toasty, and get it melting. So we are on sparkler number one, and it is already affecting the figure quite heavily. So that is what the figure is looking like after the very first sparkler hit it. You can see that it is already changing colors and it is severely melted here in the hair portion. Sparkle. And you know what? We're gonna go two at a time with this one. Both sides. Oh, look at the hair over there. It is completely singed. The figure is completely on fire right now. It looks like a marshmallow. It does look like a marshmallow. We are making Funko s'mores over here. Oh, let's see if we can keep it going. This is number six. Well, it's like burning a hole straight down her head. Oh my God. She's got blue ooze coming out of her skull. <laughs> Do you see it? All right, so we are on sparklers number six and seven right now. And if you ever had to question whether or not these things have brains in them, I think you can tell at this point, they do not have brains at all. Or maybe we've melted their brains. Creepy. All right, sparkler number eight. And the figure is still holding up pretty well. Let's see if we can hit it from another side and get it to burn a little faster. There is sparkler number nine joining along with number eight. Oh, and there we go. We've got some fire catching on the figure again. These things are super thick and extremely hard to burn through. I thought that it was going to burn a little bit easier, but you can already tell that this whole big hunk of vinyl is not something that you can easily burn through. Oh, but look at that. The whole thing is on fire. All right, you guys. So we had to go more than just one or two at a time now to really get things kicking. Oh, and it's getting so smoky. It definitely cannot be safe to breathe this in. And children, if you're watching, do not try this at home. This figure is still holding on for dear life. We have got the head almost completely torched. So I'm thinking it's time to start with the body and see if we could break it down from there. It's almost like mini flamethrowers. So the figure has completely fallen over now. So we're down to only like six more sparklers. And this is where the current status is. Oh, looks like a charcoal. The figure is pretty much burnt to a crisp at this point. We are gonna be coming at it from both angles to give it a final torching and see what the aftermath entails. And there we go. All the sparklers are gone and this is what we're left with. A heaping, smoldering pile of ash. Let's see what happens when we poke away at it. It is melted on the inside and it is now sticking to the sparkler. That used to be legs. Now it is just charred remains of a broken and dying figure. So that was crazy. I had no idea what to expect when we were trying to melt that Funko Pop with those sparklers. But as you can see, that thing literally turned into a black and charred ball of coal. And you may be asking yourself, hey Much Pops, I thought you said that you were going to be burning two Funko Pops today with sparklers. Well, you know what? That was the intention, but we actually ran out of sparklers. So now what we are going to have to do instead is take these two bags of TNT blasts, this roll of tape, and this broken clown Funko Pop, and we are gonna tape these balls to this pop 
and blow this thing sky high. Since this is a nice, rotund, <laughs> and jolly looking clown, we have a very good surface area in which to apply the green TNT Blast. We have all of the TNT Blast securely attached to our deformed clown. He is completely covered in these things, and I'm not sure if they are all going to explode, but we are definitely going to try, and I think as long as we can get enough of them can go off, we can explode this thing high enough to give Mr. Bezos a high five up there in space. Now let's see if we can reach him. So we just have one chance at this. The wicks are going everywhere, and this is going to be extremely difficult to pull off. Is that it? <laughs> it's All right, let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Oh, man down. Careful, careful. So that did not work out exactly as we planned. I really thought that with the tape and some compression that that thing might blow up a little bit better than it did, but it pretty much just like sparkled right off of him and hardly knocked him over. So that was very anticlimactic and I'm sorry for that, but we do have one more hidden trick up our sleeves to leave you with something kind of nice to end the video with. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and let you get back to enjoying your holiday. So trying to blow up that clown quickly turned into a hot disaster. So we decided we needed to end this video with a cool breeze. So let's go and get this thing set up so we can all experience the refreshing peace of a cool breeze. <laughs> Alright guys, so you just witnessed the very first person to melt an entire Funko Pop using just sparklers and you also witnessed the very first time somebody tried to blow up a Funko Pop using some TNT blasts. And after all that, you got to watch us dance around to the sweet mist of a cool breeze. So I hope you and your family all have a fun and safe 4th of July. And if you do try burning Funko Pops yourself, I would not suggest doing that because it is crazy and you will get hurt. But if you enjoyed watching us try to do it and you had a great time hanging out here with us tonight, I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one.